Hi guys, I'm welcome to a new video. So today I've got the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio and I've also got the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 together with me. And these devices came out around the same time and um, we are going to discuss which of those are is more suitable for you. So I've got both um, to try them out and I will basically stick with just one of them. Um, to be honest, I haven't uh, I'm still not pretty sure which one to keep because I need a tablet on the one side, but I also need a powerful laptop on the other side. Um, so first of all, this here is the i5 model with 16 gigs of RAM. So it has got a lot of RAM, but the processor is not the fastest one available on this one. Um, and this here is basically the base model of the Surface Laptop Studio. So something to be cleared out the i5 model of the surface laptop studio beats actually the i7 model of the surface pro 8 so the i5 version of the surface laptop studio is more powerful than the surface pro 8 with an i7 processor so this is a big difference in here so both of them got an i5 five of the 11th generation but this one here has basically got more power um way more power um but it also weighs much more and it's also much thicker of course so this one here is basically a tablet and this one here is a thick laptop um all right so uh most the most things are quite similar so if you talk about the screen they look pretty identical um Something which I found out on the Surface Laptop Studio is that the screen, I mean, if you try to write on there, you can see that the screen is quite thin and you can see the um, display doing, I don't know how this is actually called, but you can actually feel that you press on the display with the uh, Surface Slim Pan, where the display of this one here, of course, it's, it's basically thicker and um, therefore you can apply much more pressure until you see these pixels which uh, basically change their color whenever you press harder on the screen so this is something which you need to keep in mind um, then there are also different things so of course this one here has got the better keyboard the keyboard of this one here is way better so let me show you just the keyboard um, so here we go the keyboard of this one amazing it's one of the best keyboards available on a laptop. Um, and they are pretty identical to the Microsoft Surface keyboard, which I have over here. So this is not the Microsoft Surface keyboard, but this is the modern keyboard, which is equal to the um, Surface keyboard. And the feeling of these keys are basically almost the same as these. So they haven't got, um, they have got less travel compared to this one here but they feel almost as good as these ones do so the keys on this one here they are not that good compared to this one here so you've also always got the space here underneath the uh, keyboard and therefore the keyboard will wobble a little bit while you are typing on there so this here is the old version um, of the signature cover and the reason why i got the old version is that the old version comes bundled together with the old surface slim pan um, there is the new version available together with the slim pan too but I, I actually hate the second generation of the slim pan and that's basically the reason why i got the old version of the type cover which wobbles a little bit more than the new version does so the newest type cover of the surface pro 8 is a bit thicker and it doesn't wobble that much when you press uh, on the keys and also the trackpad on this one here is very loud so you can hear it it's really loud and sometimes it can be really amazing uh, <laughs> not amazing it can be really frustrating so this one is really loud and it just sucks so the new version the new type cover hasn't got um, these loud sounds and it, it's, it doesn't bend that much while you're typing but the new version comes together with the slim pen two which i actually hate so this is basically the reason why i got this old keyboard um right but still the keyboard of this one here is way better than this and um the trackpad is the best one you can get 
actually so uh, on a windows laptop laptop so it has got a big trackpad so the trackpad is almost double in size and um this one here doesn't actually click so it basically vibrates whenever you press on the screen and it's basically similar to these trackpads which are available on the macbooks so you've got a screen with a haptic feedback while this one here is basically a clicky um, trackpad and if you get the new version of the signature type cover it won't be that loud but it's still a clicky keyboard and when you go up it's basically harder to press while on this one here it's equal it doesn't matter where you actually apply the pressure so really good trackpad really good um typing experience it's just phenomenal compared to this one here you cannot even compare it to this one here this one is not good okay um it's usable it does its job and it's that's it okay um then there is the thing about writing so both of these tablets uh, can be used as tablets where this one here is the real tablet so you can basically detach the keyboard completely so let me do that pretty quick and then we go so uh, here we go so this here is the surface pro 8 being a tablet and now i will convert the laptop studio into a tablet and this here is the surface laptop studio being a tablet so this tablet still weights one still weights way more than this one here so without the keyboard this one here doesn't even weigh one kilogram while this one here almost weights two kilograms so it's almost the double in weight um, and you cannot hold this tablet with two hands and basically watch a movie or something like that it's basically not possible it's still not very convenient to hold this device all time with you with two hands and watch a movie but it's you can actually do it with this one here is basically not possible um this one here has also got the kickstand so you can angle the display however you want this one here has also got one mode uh, which you were able to see at the beginning of the video um which was which is called studio mode or viewing mode i don't actually know but you've basically got three modes in this one here so we've got the laptop mode the studio mode which is this one i guess and uh the view mode okay and with this one here we can basically have all modes combined um which is really great so all in all if you need performance and if you need everything to be good and if you need a good typing experience a good input experience if you need to have if you need to get or if you need a bigger screen so this one here is 14 inches while this one here isn't even 13 um this makes a difference actually so if you are writing on a pdf this one here may be better so if you are sitting on your desk it's really amazing to write on it something which you need to keep in mind though is that this one here is thicker and therefore you can see so this here is the table and there's about two centimeters where the display actually is over the table and this one here is thinner so if you close the kickstand and lay this one to the table you can see it basically is 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 way thinner there so um if you need to rest your palm on the on the table it's it's way better a way better experience on the pro 8 it's basically not so ergonomic on this one here so you always need to rest your palm on the screen which may which uh which may be annoying so yeah if you need performance go with this one here if you need uh mobility go with this one here so both of them have got great performance the performance of the base model of this one here is way better than the i7 model so if you need performance always stick with the surface laptop studio don't pay extra money to get the pro 8 with the i7 um, processor uh yeah so we can also talk about the speakers and all that so of course this one here is the bigger device it will have better speakers the speakers of this one here they are not bad they are okay um it's basically like all other uh surface pros you can compare it to the surface pro x if you used any um yeah so that's it actually 
Uh, if you have got any questions, you can write them down below in the comment section. I will try to answer all of them uh, as far as I can. And uh, yeah, peace out.